man. What's up, y'all? I think it's uh, Government Canada's weather app. Yeah. I was looking at it. It said sunrise wasn't until 7.54. Wrong. Wrong. Daylight savings time, guys. It's not even 7 o'clock yet, and we're sunrise now. Yeah. That's a thing. So there goes the first bite window. We'll get them. Oh, well. We'll get them. <clears throat> Look at that. Let's catch some rookies. Wow. Now that's beautiful. All right. Have you ever caught a brook trout, Jeff? I've never caught a brook trout. Okay. I've one small splake. Okay, there we go. So we have to get stuff. Jeff a brook trout. That's the goal. Wow, it's, uh, it's actually a pretty nice temperature, eh? Yeah. It's like just a little it's chilly. Perfect hiking temperature. Yeah, great for hiking, for sure. We've been dealing with this stuff almost the entire trail, just about. There's a bridge over yonder. I don't know what kind of accent that was. That kind of changed part way through. Look at this. We got a tree block in our way. Whatever shall we do? I don't know, let's go home, I guess. What's he doing? He's going off path. Oh my God. Jeff! Me. Man! Oh, I think we're almost there, buddy. The lake is like glass. It's a little bit treacherous fishing here. Do I have, I've got condensation all over my lens. That's not good. It's a potato jet, so I can blow on my lens without going spit on my lens. Potato jet. Yeah, you have that, I still have some. Yeah, I still have some in my tummy. I've been waiting for this day for a little while now, actually. See this spoon? Well. So there's a live stream, and if you don't know about it, you should probably check it out if you're into canoe tripping, called Canoe Hound Adventures, and uh, it's on every Tuesday night. Anyways, great live stream. I was watching it one night, and Keenan and Ashley were on it from Canoe the North, another YouTube channel. There was a giveaway hosted partway through the live stream. And I won the giveaway. And what Keenan sent me was actually a fishing spoon. And what he claims to be the best brook trout lure ever. So let's see, it's an EGB, silver and gold. Hope I'm not giving away your secrets, Keenan. <laughs> Please give me that back. It was shaking for a second because it's a branch. Yes! So this trick has saved me countless lures. I don't even know how many times I've actually freed up lures doing this. So you're reeling in, you get stuck. Oh no, it won't come off. You give it a couple shakes, it won't come off. Don't lean into it, don't reef into it. Instead, so let's say, all right, lure's stuck. See, can't get it loose. So what you do is put tension on the rod, so you have a tight line, and then you grab your line, pull your line out like this, so that you make your rod tip bend, right? Make your rod tip bend a little, and then let go like that. And let it spring. Really try and like spring that, you know? Let it spring. Can I say that again? Let it spring. Let it spring. Let it spring. That's, there you go, Jeff, now you're getting it. Let it spring. And that I've heard referred to as the bow and arrow trick, so. I hope that saves you some lures. Dude, I saw it. I just got hit by a rookie that big. Yeah. Right at shore, yeah. Yeah, my hit was pretty close too. Yeah, if you, well, okay. Yeah, because I'm not doing anything right now. Just 
Oh yeah, look at that. That's good actually. Nice. Look at that, rookie guys. Ha ha ha. my hands here. Hey there, you're, you're actually a pretty nice one compared to what I've caught in the past. Well, I need your, your uh, forceps, I think. He got all three trebles in him. Wow. How? Oh no, I'm good. No, you're good. Cool. Look at that. Well, no shoreline lunch. Just looking at these beautiful fish. Look at those markings on them. Yeah, nice. There. Look at that Look at fish. That. Cool. Beautiful, beautiful. Can you get a picture for me? Yeah. Just with your phone? <gasps> maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> oh well, we got it on video. That's awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Well, thank you, Keenan and Ashley, for sending me that spoon. That first fish was kind of yours. <laughs> They're so soft. Yeah. And beautiful. Oh, my, my hands. I got the smell of fish on my hands. I love it. I'm stuck. I just broke off. No. Yeah. Well, that spoon was great while it lasted. Well, since I lost the spoon, I'm gonna switch to a little spinner. And it's actually the same size and color that I caught my first ever brook trout on. So let's see if it pays off. That little spinner there. See if this lands me a fish. Now, I didn't have any barrel swivels. And when you're using an inline spinner, you probably already know this if you fish, but you gotta use a barrel swivel because you'll get a ton of line twists. So thanks to Jeff for giving me this uh, barrel and swivel. I want Jeff to catch a brookie. He hasn't caught a brookie before. That's like, if we were to keep going down that road instead of turning down the secret parking lot. Nice. Jeff got one. Dude, that's a good one. Fun. Wow. Can you hold that for me? I oh just, my goodness. I did just wet my hands though. Okay, I'm gonna get my wet. Okay. Woo, look at that brookie. <laughs> what a great fish, dude. This one has some beautiful halos too. Yeah. Are you taking this? I don't know, maybe I will, man. This you're, is a good one. You're just about to go home, so. I was just about to, yeah. <laughs> so bad at handling this fish. They're so slimy and slippery. It's like right down here. Oh no. Yeah, I got him, I got him. No, he's slipping. Oh. Did you get him? Got him. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, so you broke your line. Yeah, bro, he fell down here, broke the line, but <laughs> I got him. Oh my gosh. This has just been an absolute nightmare, but so, amazing at the same time. Chartreuse? No, Black Fury. Oh, I was just throwing that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. Congrats, what a man. What beautiful fish. I'm sure. <laughs> so what number of Black Fury is that? Yeah, uh, number two. Number two, all right, I'm throwing a number one, so. Yeah. That oh. is awesome. Right as I was getting ready to leave, too. Chef is just about to go. <laughs> he's got to get back to his, his wife and kid. And now he's got something to bring home so they can all have a little taste of brook trout. Although, maybe I can get one. I'm going to get back in the water. we got a couple minutes before we're going to take off and maybe I can catch it. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Let's show the audience this. I got my fingers all up in his gills. But beautiful yeah. fish. So this is a stocked lake. It's basically take and put. They encourage you to take the fish. They're meant for taking. Look at the halos on there. Yeah, beautiful little brook. Just gorgeous. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Yeah. That's a beauty brookie for your first man. Yeah, thanks, man. Part of a bigger story here that you guys don't get to see is the amount of times that Jeff and I go fishing for different species and we both get skunked or one of us gets skunked. And <laughs> this was first time in a while that we, uh, we both got on to fish and both achieved our goal. So that's pretty sweet. Make sure you go check out Jeff's channel. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll link it below. And in that little thing that's popping up right now, if you like that video, hit that like button and oh, subscribe to see more. We'll catch you later. Hi, subscribe to Ben's channel. <laughs>